I do lots of talks in America, and Americans, as we know, make up words. Why make up words? I've got a word called anarchonomy, and they say, is that a real word? I say, oh, yeah, yeah. I just made it up. So I made up intervention as well, and they just love it. So uh, intervention is about getting into people's hoppers early on in a, a, a buying decision. And when people pin things, it's aspirational. It's not like Facebook, here's a picture of a bike in Byers Road. This is the bike I want to buy. We came up with a set of social media rules. The first rule being selective posting. Now, I think this particularly applies to Facebook because you could definitely get away with um, a huge number of tweets without people getting particularly annoyed with you. But since we established our page and our number of likers has continued to grow, we've been really careful not to overpost or blether needlessly for fear of becoming Facebook white noise. But almost exclusively now, every part of the campaign has a digital element to it. And I'll go on and show you just a couple of examples of that. Whether that's about encouraging people to engage with our promotions or extending our in-store promotions into the dot-com websites of the supermarkets through to building the excitement with the fan base. It, it really is um, does have digital at the heart of everything we do. Well, we went to download, I don't know if you know, the big festival at Donington and um, we actually put a, a TV team into the crowd for the whole weekend to try and find some viral stuff. It was X-rated, it certainly wasn't viral. Um, but, you know, if you get it right, you will create such a storm. In my experience, it's easier to get big ticket funding than small scale. It'd be dead difficult to get 50,000, to get 5 million or 10 million or 500 million as I've done. It wasn't that difficult. We very much hope that this is an ongoing uh, campaign, an ongoing project, an ongoing, uh, as we said in day one, a movement.